This is a clove hitch, and in this video I'm going to show you how to tie this clove hitch around a horizontal bar like we have here. And then there's a second method that you can use to quickly tie the clove hitch around a vertical bar where you can just drop it over the top and tighten it up, and then you're good to go. Let's get started. Okay, I have my pole here, and I have the working end of my rope, or the short end of my rope here. And the first thing I'm going to do for the clove hitch is I'm going to make a full loop over the top of my pole so that I come to here. All right, so we've just made one loop over the top of my pole, and then I'm going to cross my rope to make an X, like so. The next thing I'm gonna do is pass the short end, or the working end of my rope, underneath the pole, like this. Now I nearly have a complete X, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my short end and pass it under the, the long end or standing end of my rope, okay? So now we have a complete X. And there's one final step here to complete the clove hitch, and that is to take the end of my rope and pass it underneath the X that I've created in my rope. So I'm passing it straight through underneath this X, and that is a clove hitch. The final thing that you can do to tighten up your knot is to push the parallel loops together and tighten. And you can look at your, your, your knot and notice that you have two parallel lines underneath a cross line. You have one line coming towards you and one going away from you. That's what a clove hitch looks like. Now I'll show you the second method and I'm going to bring in a, a vertical pole to show you how to do that. All right, I've got a small sledgehammer here and this is going to act as our vertical pole for tying the clove hitch. When you do this, you're basically going to make two loops, and they're going to be on top of themselves. And so as you form these loops, it's important to note that you can tie the clove hitch around a much larger object than this. You just have to make the loops that you're about to make in proportion to the diameter of whatever you're tying it around. So how you do this is you get your line, and you grab it like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to twist to form a loop by turning your wrist away from yourself. So when you're done making your loop, your wrist or your palm should be facing up, like so. Then you're just gonna do that same thing a second time to create another loop. All right? And then the final step is just to take the most recent loop you made, the second loop, and pass it over to on top of the first loop you made. All right, so you have two loops, and then you just pass that second loop on top of your first loop. Once you've done this, it's actually quite simple. All you do is you take that, and then you drop it on top of your pole. And then you pull tight. Once you've done this, I'll turn it sideways so you can see, you have a clove hitch that looks very much like the clove hitch we, we made using the previous method. So that's how you tie a clove hitch using the two methods, one for horizontal, one for the vertical. If you found this helpful, we also have a video that talks about the three main knots that you need to learn as a beginner to knot tying, and we'll link to that uh, in the upper right hand corner of this video and also in the description of this video.